almost a week before the third GOP presidential debate, and South Carolina's Nikki Haley is surging, and former President Trump is noticing. Caroline Shively has the latest on the race. She could be the biggest threat to Donald Trump's frontrunner status. And on Monday, Nikki Haley filed for her presidential candidacy in her home state of South Carolina. If you saw the polls today in Iowa, I am now in second place in Iowa. I got one more fella I got to catch up to. Former President Trump campaigning in Iowa Sunday definitely has his eyes on his former U.N. ambassador. She said it many times. I will never run against that president. He was a great president. Then he goes, she goes, I'd like to announce my candidacy. So we hit her heart. But bird brain, I call her bird brain. Meanwhile, his vice president called it quits. I came here to say it's become clear to me. This is not my time. Mike Pence is out of the crowded GOP race. The former vice president ending his campaign at the Republican Jewish Coalition Summit, where Republican hopefuls made their policy pitches on Israel. If America does not answer the call, who will? I was also the first candidate to say that we in the United States cannot accept refugees from the Gaza Strip. Meanwhile, President Biden is facing another challenge on the left. Minnesota Congressman Dean Phillips filing in New Hampshire Friday, saying it's time for fresh leadership. He's a good man. I'm not running against the president. I'm running for the future. Now Republicans are working to qualify for the third GOP debate on November 8th with stricter requirements for a spot on the stage. In Washington, I'm Caroline Shively, Fox News.